Good afternoon, my fellow SAT students. Uh, what I wanted to speak to you about today is the accounts receivable and the accounts payable section of SAT FICO. That is an integral part of SAT FICO because you know any company wants to receive money and it's going to receive money generally through the accounts receivables. And then in order to keep a company uh, going, it's going to have it's going to incur cost of sales, and those costs of sales are generally going to be found in the uh, accounts payable department. As you can see the accounts receivable and the accounts payable department are actually quite similar. They're made up, uh, they've made up they're made up very similar. So you've got the account similar over here is a customer and it's going to be a D for debtor and then you've got your accounts payable over here and it's going to be a vendor and it's going to be K for creditor and there are five steps in you know creating these uh, accounts receivables and accounts payable customers uh, accounts in SAP FICO uh, Number one, it's the customer group uh, level. Number two, it's at the company code level. Number three is the activity level, and it's going to be either central or decentralized. Number four, you have to create your number range. And number five, you have to assign your number range to your groups. And whenever you create, um, a receivable account or a payable account, you're also going to have your field status variant. And when you set up your field status variant, uh, you will get several options. The R is for the required, the O is for optional, the D is for display, and the S is for suppress. And as you can see, you've got your company code, the data for your company code. It's going to come over here for the bank and the language. The general data is going to be name, address, phone number, account number, date of birth. I think that's the date the account was open. Uh, and then your sales data is going to be sales order, shipment, payment method, and term. And the accounts payable is going to be very similar. You know, the only difference is going to be in the purchase or data. So you can see accounts receivable and accounts payable are very similar in their structure and the same cup. The only difference is that one receives money coming in and the other pays money going out. So um, I hope I've given you some insight into the actual structure of your accounts receivable and your accounts payable condition uh, accounts. And uh, I hope that uh, helps you in your SAT study. Goodbye.